make sure you hit that subscribe button, make sure you ring that notification bell, and make sure to share this with everyone you know to help us beat that massive YouTube algorithm. Poetry, an art form that has been around for thousands of years. Oftentimes in television shows, we will see masterfully executed poetry. Scenes that rhyme, seasons that rhyme, things that call back to other things. And oftentimes we will see, and I should say more oftentimes we will see, shows that set up a rhyme but never finish it, never conclude it. They go off and they do their own thing, and then all of a sudden we take what could have been a masterful television show and we make it do a hard left turn into oblivion. These are our thoughts on the moments where The Walking Dead went wrong and the storylines it could have done. Let's get into the discussion. So Why zombies. can't we get yeah, some zombies? <laughs> um, <laughs> so zombies! Sorry about them zombies. Now, um... <laughs> Why why is it that some shows have such a great early run and just cannot maintain it? Well, it's because you run out of story. Like, I mean, you figure that if you start out with a plan, right? You come to a producer or a network or something and say, hey, I'm going to write this you know, show. This is my pilot. If we go this far, this is what this will be. If we go this far, this is what this will be. And then this is what I have done. And, you know, you hope, like, I'll... Uh, you know, supernatural, that you can at least get that, you know, initial run done. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you figure, you know, all the way from, you know, the fire to Sam going into the pit. Yeah. You know, but they managed to do that. Then you have shows that sit there and they try and follow along with a narrative that's already there. You know, whether it's books like Game of Thrones or comics like The Walking Dead. Yeah. Um, you but deviate there, from them a, a and fair for, amount. And sometimes for better, sometimes for worse. And then, but, you know, the second you kind of start to lose that narrative structure, I think that you kind of start to spiral. And I think that's what we really saw with The Walking well, Dead. Well, I'll, I'll never forget, you know, you gave us the, the DVDs for, for season four. Yeah. Because you were watching them kind of as they aired and we were watching them kind of, you know, once the seasons came out. Yeah. And I'll never forget, we get, I get through season four and I call you and I go, the show's over. Yeah. It's done. It's I, lost. I, it's, I remember this very distinctly. I, I remember. <laughs> and you go, no, dude, sir, that was, a, I'm like, they lost it. And you, and, and I remember you and I having this conversation. You're like, well, no, well, well, season five. And I'm like, well, because you kind of told me a little bit about season five. And I was like, no, it, it's over. Yeah. It's done. They, they've completely lost the plot. And I, and I know the moment. And I, and I knew by the end of season four, they lost the plot because in season four there was that moment right before herschel died right and those and, of us who have all seen it we all know that yeah moment. in season four yeah. right before herschel died and it was about and i called it about 60 seconds before it happened and i look at and and, and, and i look at my wife and i go herschel's gonna die and i'm gonna no, they're not going to do that because this is before Walking Dead decided to just kill everybody. Kill everybody. This was the still where, yeah. yeah, this was still where death meant something in the show. Yeah, the, the, and everybody it, could die, but they held it back for yeah, truly, yeah. narratively important moments. Which and this yeah, was a good one. Yeah, and 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 right before Herschel died, and 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 what gave it away to me is that up that that whole season, season four. Yeah, Rick was trying to be a farmer. He was trying to be a father. He was trying to learn. To not be a violent person. He was trying to learn to be the moral center. Yes. To be that moral guidance that Herschel was being. Yes. And so the minute before, it was like, and I, I mean, it was not very long. It could not have been more than a minute before Herschel died. Yeah. When Rick was like, he looks at the governor and he goes. The speech. Yeah, yeah. He gives that yeah. speech and he goes, no, we can figure this out. We can do this. And I was like, Herschel's going to die. The reason that Herschel was going to die was because that entire first half of the season they set Rick up to become the new Herschel. Yes. 
that entire and I and 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 when I knew Herschel was gonna die, I wasn't. Yes, it sucked because you'd kind of seen Herschel for a few seasons. Also, a fantastic actor and uh, great actor, wonderful role, heartbreaking moment. Yes. So you felt more for for it, but it made me excited to be like, oh my god! But this look at the, who Rick is going to turn it, into. It was you know Herschel you know died in a very brutal way, but it was also a you know passing of the torch. Yeah, it was. A, it was so, yeah. well. It was supposed to be a, a passing indeed, of the torch. Indeed. And. It was supposed to be this passing of a torch, the way that that scene was structured out, that Herschel dies and Rick becomes the new Herschel. Well, that Rick, look, that look. I mean, Herschel's got a sword to his throat, and uh, or over his neck. I can't remember. I, I can't which remember. One, but, yeah, but it's um, been so long. But um, you know, he's on you know his knees with a weapon yeah. in a very yeah. unsafe proximity. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you know, he smiles and he nods and looks at Rick like, yes, you get it. Here is, you know, they are attacking their home. They are abducting their people. Mm -hmm. the, and Rick is coming out there saying, we don't have to fight. We don't have to be enemies. We mm -hmm. can learn how to live together. Mm-hmm. And Herschel looks at him and smiles. That is the moment where Rick took the it mantle. It was a smile or a... It was, it, but that look... I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but that was the moment. But yeah. that was it. Yeah. Wait, so you saw the same thing yeah. I saw. And I, I remember seeing this. I remember seeing that moment and thinking, holy crap. And I'm like, okay. And, and, and I thought to myself, because that, that episode played out as you would think that episode would play out. Yeah. And, and I remember thinking to myself, okay, so if Rick becomes Herschel, who becomes Rick... Well, and be the only, it would be Daryl. Yeah. That's the only logical character that could do it. And, and this and, is where you can actually look at the deviation from the comics as a good thing, is Daryl's not in it. Exactly. Daryl's not exactly. in the comics. Well, they were following the comics. Daryl didn't exist. And or Merle, I didn't by read. extension. Well, and yeah. So, yeah, and so, you know, you have Daryl take on Rick's persona, or the persona that he'd had one yeah. through 3.25 yeah. or whatever. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. This... This guy that's kind of the, uh, you know, this isn't a democracy type of guy. Yeah. Who then Daryl goes to Rick to find that moral counsel to figure out what the right decision and to it, do they is. they don't have to be carbon copies of each other. No, they don't. Daryl can do it his way, whereas Rick did it his way. And maybe Daryl's a little bit less aggro or maybe he's more aggro. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. No, exactly. But, exactly. But, but the whole point is that they set this up. It was there. Even the characterization with Daryl. Because of the friendship you, you that Daryl was developing with Rick, it was all there. This, and you saw Daryl taking on more leadership and making more important decisions and yeah. truly becoming a pillar. Well, and that was of that the, whole season four. Yeah, that was the whole season four. Is Rick was supposed to become Herschel the way that I mean, and whether it was supposed to or not, that's how they wrote it. That and was the they, that was the that, narrative that, threads that they left there, and yes. then. We went to Cannibal Train Station and then to New England. Which still could have made it happen. I will say this. I will say this. One of the most brutal moments, but as yeah. a father. Oh, yeah. I know what you're the, talking you about. You know the yeah. one I'm talking about? When, when, that, where the, the, when the, 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 the older man captured, was going to and take, take advantage Carl, of Carl. Carl. Yep. And Rick. And, and, and Rick. And he just. and, and He went for the throat. And, well. <laughs> And here, I, I don't want yeah. to describe that for those who've seen this. No, scene. you see Rick go for the throat. But yeah, well, no, I can describe that. I don't mind describing that. It's the 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 part with Carl. But the, they were the older do man, some the, but the bad, older man, bad, bad the, yeah, things. bad. They were going to do bad things to Carl, yeah. and, and 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 Rick, and and that heartbeat. I remember that, and you just saw his face, and he turns around. The guys were straining him, and he turns around to the guy's arm, and he is no so breathing the same air that this disgusting yeah, I, low life is breathing, and he rips the guy's throat out with his teeth to protect his son from what's about to happen. That no different there, than what we've seen a walker do. It's the, actually a little disturbing the level of violence, the, but it's done very intentionally. But but because 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 it, 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 it was. It was it was human violence on human violence, and it had not been done. And, but even that moment there still could have led into the progression of, of and, Rick becoming because it was to save. And his you could son. have also, and also, yeah, and also it had the you know writing team had stuck with their themes that they had set up and their narrative beats. They could have actually really played that in well, where it's Rick is the moral center, mm -hmm. and you see him. You know, we need to be peaceful, and maybe have a scene with some survivors who aren't. Hostile, but they aren't friendly either. Yes. And maybe it's a small group, men, yeah. women. Yeah. Um, but it's it's tense. And Rick goes, he works it through. He becomes Herschel. He walks everybody through it, and everybody parts 
peacefully. Yes. And then, you know, a episode maybe two down the line, you have these bad men that we've seen Daryl get roped into. And they sit there and then you just watch this moral center get pushed beyond the extreme. Well, see, beyond the breaking point. Uh, uh, and he acts instinctually. He's protecting his child. Mm-hmm. And then you have that dichotomy. You just watched him establish a peaceful. Now here's proof that he can still get yeah. be as brutal yeah. as he needs well, to see, be and so, so, to protect his own. What, what, the, the direction I thought they were going to go in. in the, in that the, would have been... So the direction Sorry. that I no 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 yeah. I think you're good. Yeah. The direction I I thought they were going to go in, and the direction I wanted to see them go in is, and this is, uh, hopefully people can keep track of me on this. Okay, Rick becomes Herschel. Yeah. Okay, and Daryl becomes Rick, Rick. Right, and then through just sheer proxy, Carl becomes Daryl. Right, makes sense. Right. Also, oh, you can see the kid growing into his yeah, father's shoes. Exactly. Seeing how his dad it's was a, as a yeah, but enforcer. having to learn from the guy who had to learn from you know his dad type situation. Well, and then still I, learning from and, his dad. And then I yeah. thought that the the true poetry here would have been had Rick turned into and became Shane. Something happens. Something happens so hard that causes Rick. To go from this this Herschel character that he became to this to survival of Shane, and he's going to survive the means. almost yeah. almost Negan like almost Negan like. Well, Negan and then was now, always Negan was always supposed to be kind of Rick's parallel. Exactly, exactly. But had Rick become the Negan because they've already deviated so far from the comics at this point, doesn't matter. Well, yeah. And so, and I, I from the little I know of the comics, I mean, they deviated hard very early on. So Rick then goes through this thing that forces him into kind of the Negan role. And now Daryl, having to confront the evil that his best friend was, is, now has to take Rick's role. Rick killed Shane. Daryl kills, kills Rick. Rick. And then, and then it's through really that, that what we would have got. And at then, least. and then through yeah. that, Daryl realizes the gunfighter life is over. He sets it down, and, he and then becomes, Daryl becomes the Herschel, yeah, the moral and, center. And and then, and then now, and I'm not gonna lie, if you wanted to kill Carl off, that would have been the way to do it. Yeah, the death of now, Carl. Yeah, that you know, because it's always been said in the comics. What little I know, my cousin's very into them, so I get a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That Carl was supposed to be kind of the heir to the the world, right? Yeah, that, that was the hope for the future. That was the Ellie of that story. Yeah, and um, that innocence, that hope for the future, and but by killing him, it should not be a um, throwaway because you don't want to pay the actor an adult rate. It's yeah, uh, it should because he's turning eighteen. No, it should be that. The, maybe the death of Carl is what snaps Rick to go full Negan. Or see, Shane, at see, least. Yeah, it's Shane. If and, you're and, going but, to do that, use it. But but it was there. And yeah. all of the writing was on the wall for this. That moment when, when Rick snaps because they're going to do horrible things to his son. And he snaps and he... He takes this. You see that, and I'm like, the all of it was there. And and watching season four, and season four gets over, and it was as soon as season four was over, I realized that they'd already abandoned all that. Oh yeah. It was episodes later. It was four or five, two or three, because that's right. They're yeah. short seasons. Yeah. So it was like two or three episodes later. Episodes they'd, they'd already abandoned yeah. all that. They'd already abandoned all that. And I call you and I go, the show's done. And you go, well, season five wasn't. I'm like, man, it's over. It's done. They, they've lost it. And I watch season five and I'm like, don't get me wrong. Good moments in season five, but it's over. It's yeah. over. They will never have that. They will never be able to pull back to that Herschel moment and restart from that well, moment. Well, the only other thing that they could have done, and this is another hypothetical, and this might be a little bit more in line with the comics from what I understand, is that obviously TV shows can't run forever. Andrew no, Lincoln, no, the, man, the man that played Rick, part of the reason that he departed after, I think, nine, um, was that he wanted to go back to the UK to be with his family. Being over here in the States, filming yeah, yeah, in Georgia. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, of course. But, yeah, and so you know, mean, there you, are real-world things, but if you actually wanted to tie this in, Actually, have an ending. You don't have to explain the zombies. You well, don't. But see, but the ending, the ending in in my version, yeah, is the ending in my version is, is Daryl Darryl... killing is Daryl killing Rick or killing his best friend, yeah, to to become the Herschel and then having to be the moral compass. That's the ending there. And so I would say that the other way to do that, if people aren't a fan of the killing Rick scenario, because that is our protagonist, so to speak, but you... then you could do that. You could have him be the moral center and have Daryl be the Rick. Up through Negan, you defeat Negan, and then it's over. Alexandria is safe, and you don't worry about whatever yeah. came next in the comics. It's just done. Yeah. 
but have Rick be sitting there and maybe you know still have Rick die. Have Rick die trying to well, sue there, for there peace with Negan. There has to be a Negan. passing of the torch and a yeah. show. The, the writing was there in many and even in up through. I, I think I watched season six. Yeah, I watched season five. I'm season sorry. Six. <laughs> I'm also sorry. But the uh, writing was still on the wall because Rick was trying to settle down with Michonne. And they, I supposedly yeah. I think I had a kid. I, that's what I'm told. I, I, I haven't I think, gone I that far, I, but I but, get. I watched season you know, Carl eight just to see the end of the movie. And there were there are moments. I'm not saying the show doesn't have its moments. When the show has its moments, my God, does it have? Its does moment? it have its moments? And I don't I, care what season it is. A good season, bad season, doesn't matter. When the show has its moments, and I mean, you could have even included Abraham to where Abraham might become the new Rick, and Daryl becomes the Herschel, and but there are these things. That they could have were, done. There were narrative threads that they could have tied. And I posited one way, you posited another, and I think both work. Yeah. Narratively within the story. But the problem is, is that what they actually did doesn't. No. No, because they they wrote, they, they again, poetry rhymes. What I said yes. in the intro of yes. this video. Poetry rhymes. And when you only do one half of the rhyme, it doesn't rhyme. No, it's just a fancy it, bit of words. No, and it's... And, and and I, I think that I, I really do like my own fan fiction version. Right. That, you know... Like I said, almost anything's better than what we got at this uh, point. But I, I was so... Dis- and I'm but, sorry, I'm going to go off on a little bit of a complaint tangent here. Is that if we're talking characterization, his handling of um, the Jesse woman, and when he first got to Alexandria, Jesse, she's Jesse, the blonde Jesse, uh, Jesse, Jesse, Jesse. Oh, wife yeah, of the yeah, doctor. Yeah, 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 yeah. She has yep. the kid. Yep. Um, there are two things that just... I have a really hard time wrapping my head around. One is, is that Rick, who was so firm with the vows of marriage that he wore his wedding ring, you know, after zombies yeah. had risen, would try and move in on a married woman. Second, where'd the other kid come from? I don't remember seeing him in season... No! <laughs> yeah. That was... No, I remember that, too. Yeah. yeah, I remember that. No. There were I remember so the many little boy, things. but... There, uh, were, there were so many things... Not only that, but but I, I always thought that Carol could have become the new Daryl because of her, what she did. And she and talking would about failed the, character arcs and what they should have done. You take well, this. Did, did her be, PTSD not just come out of nowhere? And also it was just, this is not the character. She started off as this abused, beaten, downtrodden woman of an abusive jackass. And then Sorry, all of censors. Yeah. And then she owns up. And then she, she becomes Rambo. That yeah. scene where, where she she's goes got in, the walker she jacket. She shoots the propane yeah. tank and she She's comes got the in. walker jacket on. She's just walking in with them and she's just, just... Just... Is that not just awesome? That is the peak of her arc. And, and then, and then she all goes, of a sudden she... she with it, and, it, and there's no build up to her PTSD in the way that they narratively showed it. And I understand so, it. I understand it. But, but there was no the transformation. Up, there was it no, was one second she's Rambo. Then she talks to a woman that has lung cancer and then she's PTSD. I, I don't get it. No. There's not enough time there. Well, and, and not what, to say... And, and here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I will say this. The actors in the show... Oh, my God. Oh, they they're good. phenomenal. They're good. Yeah. They're great. They're phenomenal. Not only are they... They're great at every emotion. You believed... Here's the thing. You believe believed, they're real people, which I is the point of an actor. everything that the actors were showing, I did not believe the writing. Mm-hmm. And that's what sucks. That's what sucks is the act. I'm, I, I will say this. I am tired of great actors being dealt crap hands. Yeah, indeed. They're and being so, given these scripts that and just I, suck. I'm, I'm useless at names, but Carol's actress. Yes. Has always done a phenomenal job. Even with the PTSD role, you still believe that. You still believed it, even though it was sudden in the writing. It's, it's, but you believed her. her. And but it would have been a much better if you watch her be this you know Rambo survivalist just get the job done, and then slowly over the course of time show that, that she gets that tired the, that the Rambo well, because here's not the thing just the Rambo survivalist could been the first stage of her PTSD because remember she mm-hmm. killed a little girl well, right just think the about killing first... of the little girl was really hard oh, I know that, and, and what a brutal scene by oh the way. I know but th- look at what First Blood the actual first Rambo movie oh, yeah. is talking about that. Mm-hmm. And so uh, I, I have it. Yeah. You can watch it. You want to watch it? I have it. Indeed. I and so, love First Blood. And so you watch First Blood. It's not about Rambo being a badass like it was. No. Uh, like it's turned in. It's about a soldier who is one coming to terms with civilian life. Mm-hmm. So have Carol come to terms with it. Have her get tired. Not just PTSD. I can't do it anymore. But just 
I, tired I, and broken. Uh, and her Rambo response should have been her PTSD. Yes. Why are you like this, Carol? You weren't like this before. Because, why, why because are you Because when this I'm way? not like this, people I care about die, Rick. <laughs> there you go. I wrote it's, it for you. <laughs> it's, it, it's, it was... Hire me, like AMC. Said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Holler at me, AMC. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah no. We'll, we'll help uh, you. You want to do a yeah, spinoff? Right. We got you, boo. Yeah. But no, and it was... I just... I'll never forget season four. Albany and I finish it. And I'll never forget that conversation with you. Matt, the show's over. Yeah. And, and, you, it, and, and I hate it when you tell me. I told you so. <laughs> I, but I was hoping that they could have recovered the plot threads. And they never could. I, I They just, never could. You don't start a rhyme and not finish it. No, or, and they uh, left too many rhymes hanging. They did. They left too many By rhymes. By the end of season five, hell, through the end of... Uh, the second half of season four, too many of those narrative threads, too many rhymes they were, were left unfinished. They were gone. They were gone. And they could have done it so easily. We are out of time. We are out of time. Thank you guys so much for watching and Drink With Crazy and stick around to the end of this video to find out how you can support the show even more. Thank you guys so much. And hopefully you guys like what you saw here. And I know it'll be said in the uh, ending video, but comment down below with what you guys think. And uh, we'll go through and we'll uh, read and answer as much of those as we can. Thank you guys so much. We will see you guys next time right here on A Drink With Crazy. Thank you all so much for watching A Drink With Crazy. We have been having conversations like this for years and we are so happy to include all of you in them. Don't forget to comment down below with your thoughts on all of our videos to tell us what you guys think, how we're wrong, how we might be right, or just differing opinions. We always love to hear that. The two biggest things you guys can do to help this channel grow is to share it with all of your friends and subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified of all of our upcoming videos. We really do hope that you guys like some of the deep dives and some of the non-deep dives that we do into the various different forms of pop culture. And we look forward to seeing you guys in future videos and live streams and everything involved with A Drink With Crazy. So until next time, we look forward to seeing you and we appreciate all of your support. Thank you for watching A Drink With Crazy. If you liked the conversation, make sure to click here to see more.